How significant are Queen Camilla's recent public appearances in the wake of King Charles's health concerns? The question that's been on the minds of many royal enthusiasts lately. Queen Camilla has recently made headlines with her attendance at a cultural event hosted by the Royal Shakespeare Company. This comes at a time when King Charles, her husband, is grappling with health issues, a fact that has not gone unnoticed by the public. In the world of royalty, duty often trumps personal challenges. Despite King Charles's current health concerns, Queen Camilla's decision to continue her public duties reflects a tradition of steadfast service. It's a balancing act of maintaining public appearances while dealing with personal challenges within the family. Her participation in cultural events such as this not only showcases the Queen's commitment to her role, but also highlights the continuity of royal duties even during trying times. This in itself speaks volumes about the strength and resilience of the monarchy. As we delve deeper, we will explore the implications of Queen Camilla's public engagements on the royal family's dynamics. From her interactions with diverse figures to the involvement of extended royal family members in public functions, there's a lot to unpack. So, let's dive in. What does Queen Camilla's engagement with cultural events and figures like Brian Cox signify? It's a question that invites us to explore the multifaceted roles of the royal family. Queen Camilla's attendance at a Shakespearean event, hosted by the Royal Shakespeare Company, is more than a simple nod to the arts. It's a statement of cultural patronage, an affirmation of the enduring ties between the monarchy and the arts. Her interaction with Brian Cox, a well-known actor with Republican socialist views, adds an intriguing layer to this narrative. It's a testament to the diverse interactions that the royal family has with figures from various sectors. Such encounters aren't mere social calls, but integral to the role of the monarchy in fostering dialogue, bridging divides, and promoting understanding across different walks of life. These engagements aren't just about representing the crown, they're about the monarchy's role in society. They reflect the balancing act of public appearances, the continuity of royal duties, and the ability to navigate personal challenges. It's a dance that requires grace, resilience, and an unyielding commitment to duty. Such engagements present a broader context of royal responsibilities and public expectations. What role does the involvement of extended family members play in royal functions, you may ask? Well, in the recent event celebrating Shakespeare, we saw the participation of non-working royals, including Lord and Lady Frederick Windsor and Lady Gabriella Windsor and her husband. This isn't just about filling seats. Their presence brings a certain dynamic to these royal functions. In times of health challenges or controversies, like those faced by King Charles, the visibility and roles of other royal family members take on a new significance. They step in, they step up, and they provide a sense of continuity that reassures the public. They help carry the weight of royal duties, ensuring that the monarchy remains unshaken even when its direct line of succession faces personal challenges. But it's not just about duty. Their involvement also serves to reinforce the image of unity within the royal family. It's a powerful symbol of solidarity, a testament to the strength of the bonds that tie this family together. So, the next time you see the extended royal family in the spotlight, remember, their participation is more than just a mere formality. The participation of these family members shapes the public's perception of the royal family's unity and the distribution of duties among its members. What do the recent dynamics within the royal family tell us about their internal relationships and approach to balancing personal challenges with public duties? In the midst of King Charles's health concerns, 
Queen Camilla has shown a notable level of enthusiasm in her role as a senior royal. Her choice to actively partake in public engagements, such as the event celebrating Shakespeare, demonstrates a commitment to royal duties that is both admirable and intriguing. On the other hand, the absence of other senior royals like Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, raises questions. Is it a matter of personal disposition or does it reflect a different interpretation of their royal responsibilities? These divergent approaches to royal duties highlight the individuality within the royal family and how each member navigates the tightrope between public and private life. These dynamics offer a glimpse into the royal family's internal relationships. They shape the public's understanding of the monarchy, painting a picture that is as complex as it is fascinating. It's a dance of duty, perception, and personal disposition played out on a public stage for all to see. These dynamics present a complex picture of duty, perception, and personal disposition. What have we learned from Queen Camilla's recent public appearances? On one hand, we see a queen stepping up to the plate, attending events even in the face of King Charles's health concerns. Her presence at the Royal Shakespeare Company's celebration, her interaction with figures like Brian Cox, all hint at a continuation of royal duties and a balance of public appearances amidst personal challenges. We also shed light on the participation of non-working royals, such as Lord and Lady Frederick Windsor, Lady Gabriella Windsor, and her husband. This inclusion suggests a united front, a distribution of duties among extended family members, especially when the direct line of succession faces health challenges or controversies. Lastly, we delve into the intricate dynamics within the royal family. With Queen Camilla's enthusiasm in being the only senior royal actively participating in public events and the absence of other senior royals. Like Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, we're prompted to reflect on the internal relationships within the royal family and how they balance personal challenges with public duties. As we continue to watch the royal family in the public eye, we are reminded of the delicate balance they maintain between duty and personal challenges.